Good morning. Today is June 21st. It is day 46. We are leaving Sheridan Lake and going to Eads depending on the wind conditions. If wind conditions are fa favorable, we might make it a long day. So time will tell and we hope to have a good ride. It might rain, but we don't have 100 degrees and a scorching sun. So things are looking good. So what a difference one day makes. We're riding along, it is 7.15 in the morning. We didn't get up early, but with the hour time change, we still got up early. And uh, the wind changed from coming out of the south, southwest to the uh, southeast, out of the southeast, which means it's a bit of a tailwind. So instead of cruising at eight or nine miles, maybe 10 if we're lucky, we're cruising at 15, 16, 17, even sometimes 18 going down little inclines or declines. Nice change. So we're gonna to go to Eads, which is about 30 miles. We're gonna see how we feel and how the wind is blowing. And we might continue on, we'll see. Things are definitely drier in Eastern Colorado. The locals have been complaining of no rain. Sheridan Lake is called Sheridan Lake because there used to be a lake there, but it's all dried up. And if you notice here, we just have like almost like a sagebrush type uh, growth in the fields. Not much farming here anymore, not enough water. So we still have cows. Cruising down 96. It is 8.20 in the morning. Haven't seen a car for at least 10 minutes. Riding three abreast with a little tiny bit of a tailwind. And couldn't ask for a more perfect day. A little cloudy. 70 degrees. In the fields. I'm not sure what they're growing out here. I haven't seen anything growing, but looks like he plans on maybe growing something. All right, well, it's 7.44 in the morning and we've hit Eads where we planned on stopping for the day. There's just no way we can stop for the day at quarter to eight in the morning. The wind is not at our back, but it's a tiny bit quarter, quartering wind. So I think we're gonna keep right on going. It'll make it a long day, but then we'll take tomorrow off. Now we're looking for a restaurant for breakfast. So we found JJ's restaurant. We're gonna go in, have some bacon, eggs, hash browns, whole wheat toast, and of course, jelly. Well, we had a great breakfast at JJ's. We're back on the road, 96 of course. And we are heading to Ordway is like uh, 60 miles so we're gonna have close to a 90 mile day today but the wind is in our favor check this out there's the flag and it's sort of hitting us at about four o'clock so it's not a tailwind but it's certainly a helpful wind and we're hoping we can make it to Ordway in fact we will make it and we're leaving Eads home of the Eagles and of course the silos Rest stop Haswell and our trip for the day Ordway Hey, well guess what? We are 46 miles in at 11.17, which means we're halfway. So we are fired up. It's a perfect riding day, perfect. The old telephone poles to my right and the new telephone poles to my left. 
big difference. Coming into the next city, Haswell. Elevation 4,538 feet. In the, in the next week or two, we'll be going up to 11,000 feet. There's our destination for the day, Ordway, 38 miles. We add that to our 50 miles, that'll be 88. I don't know if you can see those, but this is the first time we can see part of the Rockies way up there. Should be right in the middle of the viewfinder to the right of the road. Our first view. We're seeing more and more riders coming by the other way. They're going slight incline against the wind a little bit and we're going on a decline with the wind a little bit. What a difference. We've been following this railroad track for at least two days. Going all the way across the plains just like we are. All along the road. These daisies. A lot of dry creek beds here. So we still have cows, but if you look real close, we definitely have mountains in the distance. Exciting! Horse Creek, let's see if this one's dry. Totally dry. All the riverbeds, creek beds, streams, they're all dry. One o'clock in the afternoon, we've made it to Sugar City, 4,300 foot elevation. We've got 82 and a half miles in. I think we've got about five more. We'll call it a day. So far, so good. It's been a great riding day. Well, I'm just passing by the largest beef cattle processing or distribution center I have ever seen. There were not hundreds, there had to be thousands, and they're still going, of cows or beef cattle. There were piles and piles and piles of hay. It was amazing and it's still going on. There's cows as far as you can see. And there's even guys on horseback like rounding them up and get them, getting them where they have to go. Pretty amazing. You might be able to see part of that. I don't know. They sort of have a little bit of a buffer built up so you can't see it. But literally thousands of beef cattle. So here's what they do with manure. They put it in these piles and let it compost. And then I'm sure they bag it and sell it at Home Depot. But just lines and lines and lines of manure. So we made it to downtown Ordway. It's uh, pretty quiet in town. We stopped at the town hall because we have to get a permit to camp in the park. And as is so common, town hall will be closed on Tuesday, June 21st, all day long, attending a conference in Breckenridge. So, we're going to go to the park and camp with no permit and see if we can get away with it. So we thought we'd try the coffee shop before we go to the park and guess what? Monday through Friday, the Sand Cherry Coffee Shop is open 
8 to 2. It's 2.10 and they are closed. So we found a place open. It's called Feeling Saucy. And we're hoping that they have something in here to snack on or lunch. We'll find out. Well, we made it to the Ordway City Park. It's the not, not, it's not the nicest looking park, but it'll work. So we were at the City Hall and they're closed today. And the reason we had to check in there because they're, they're the people that turn off the sprinkler system at the City Park. So we're looking around trying to find the best spot to pitch a tent where the sprinklers will not get us all wet when they go off in the morning. So that's what we're doing. We're searching for the best place to put up a tent and hopefully not get soaked when the sprinklers go off. So we were coming to the cafe restaurant for dinner. The sign says open, but as is the case in all these small towns, it's not open. So we might have to go back to Saucy's for dinner. So it looks like it's back to feeling saucy for dinner because that's the only thing that's open. <laughs> 